Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are still building our mall here. We're almost done with the left side. And after that, we are going to start working on how to convert it to a mid game end game mall. Oh my goodness. And there's a cat leaping about. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, apparently it's crazy cat hour. Um, it's about three o'clock in the morning. and I don't know why cat is so yelly for me here. But anyway, hopefully he'll calm down and be okay. Um, but anyway, we were going to start getting, um, we need to get the oil stuff move moved over and also the train stuff. So it looks like we have, I guess, one, two, three uh, would work for, um, let's see, these train things. What do we need for this? We need steel and engines and engines need steel. Does this need steel? Yes, it does. All right. And then we can add, uh, looks like we would need a belt of greens. Does this need greens? Yes, it does. Okay. So we could use greens, uh, to get those going and may maybe just like this one, this one, that one, and then these two as well. Oh, look at this. We have steel. How nice. All right. So let's grab this thing and just take that along with us. Um, we don't need all of this, but we'll take whatever we've got. That'll be fine. We don't. Okay. It's not the right. It to move stuff. It's fine though. It's fine. We'll get it sorted. This is in the wrong place. That's what's happened here. We need to put this like that. This needs to go up like this and then we'll delete this stuff and then take the pump jacks from here. Okay, great. And that one goes that one goes there. This is going to be pump jacks. It's really interesting having this mall with very low level assemblers. It feels quite strange, I have to say. So it's like, okay, it'll be fine, hopefully. Um, okay, so then here we will take this belt. Oopsies, too, too close, three. There we go. Yes, today is my last day in Norway land and I'm so sad. I don't want to come back home. It's so wonderful here. Caledon has been a wonderful host and uh, I've just had an awesome, awesome time. So it's just so like sad to have to leave. Uh, okay, let's take, make sure we get steel. Are we sharing that with anything? No, but this one is sharing something. It is sharing steel. Okay, and here, yep, one space in the chest. Now, the thing about later game is, that's going to be a little bit on the annoying side is the whole converting all of these chests into logistics chests, <laughs> which is not ideal. Um, but it's okay. We have uh, an interesting trick that was brought to my attention in the comments, uh, which we're going to use, I think, for that process. Um, so that's going to be really nice. So then what do we got here? We can do signals, I guess, um, in a spot. Let's see. Signals need circuits, which we have. And then we also have chest. We'll take the chests there. Or did we add chests somewhere else? We did. We added the chests already. So we'll take those off. So it looks like we just have those two so far. And I'm just going to copy those like this. There we go. Put them up here. I guess I'll put them here. Though I think we can probably take this iron from this side instead. Like that. Should be just fine. These I usually like to have two stacks instead of one. Um, let's go ahead and also grab. Oh, whoops. Uh, put that one there. Nice. Okay, so we have the signals. I'm not 
thrilled with this being right there. But I guess I could add this railroad card here. Car here. Do we need tanks for anything else? Let's just look. Select item. Pick tanks usage. They're only used in the fluid wagon and also for themselves. Um, this is gears, stuff. Um, anything weird here? Nope. The only thing weird is the stone bricks, which we have here. Okay, so that's something that we do need to pay attention to. Though this here could be converted into, instead of the pump jack maker, I think I'd rather have the car maker, maybe. It's such an odd thing. I guess I could have car here next to the loco, then the other car there, and then the tank maker up here. Um, though it's best if I have the refinery right there instead. Um, I could swap all these things around. That's another option as well. I could completely move this one and have that stuff on the other side instead. Like this here. Fast insert in the way. Hmm? Hello? Ah, there. Huh, that's why it didn't work. It's like, no, no. Try not to do bad things here. These are all giving the wrong stuffs. Okay, that one, oopsies, that one was the right thing to do there. Gotta move this power pole. And here, take that off. Get rid of all this stuff. I just have to like move everything to the left here. I guess I should have just maybe copied it and pasted it and then just shoved it over or something. I don't know. Uh, it's okay though. Let me just okay. There we go. Wow. The uh, there was a thing on my screen that was really bright, really really bright. So I just had to take that off for a moment. Take this off. Copy paste. And. Let's actually copy this and go like this. The reason I turned it is because the this one should have a greater limit. Yes, it does. Okay. Great. Now then, there's an engine there, which we don't want there. So these guys are going to have one and then we need to have the engines in here. I usually like to have two stacks of locomotives just in case. Now then we were going to add the train cars. So I think let's add our regular train car first. Okay. These can go because those have already been done. We do need one assembler for pump jacks. We just got to remember not to forget those. Yes. Remember not to forget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's copy a thingy with one stack. Oh yeah. One stack is fine. We'll just paste that for pretty much everything. Uh, this is going to be regular cars. Ah, that's right. We can't do this. <laughs> no, the sadness is real. The sadness is real. Okay. I'm going to move all those things back. Can I move them back? No, I can't move them that back that far. It's like, no. Okay. Sometimes this drives me a little bit crazy. I wish there were more back steps. I wonder if there's a way to adjust that. Let's see other interval Great achievements. No, I'm just looking at something like it's not mod settings. No interface. Maybe. Mm. No, I don't see it. Darn it. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much to everyone who suggested that I, um, 
use creative mod. I, I really have no desire to do so because I'd rather use vanilla stuff at the moment. Um, because mostly it's, um, it's so that I can, uh, just keep ahead of the changes because right now there are a heck of a lot of changes going on in factorial land. So, um, I just want to keep that straight and together and, um, not, not have to change this every time, uh, we have, uh, changes in the world. I think, yeah, I'll use a fast inserter here. That should be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm actually kind of happy. There is a, a mode like this in in Vanilla Factorio. There's also, um, somebody said you can use a, another console command to get things like the infinite power thing and the infinite pipe thing. Um, and I have not tried that yet because I've just been really focused on doing this whole stuff. Um, but that's certainly an option as well. So go it's the one that you use to create maps like the map building thing uh as opposed to this is a scenario okay so that should work i hope signals right oh this is complicated okay now then we have this should actually fit yay we can put the train car down here and the tank up here, but, 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 but we do need stuff. Now this thing needs what? We need steel for this and pipes. Ah, that's no, the sadness is real. Yeah, the reason I have this over there is because it actually does need pipes. Now does this need pipes? No. This does not, but this guy does. Hmm. I could put the signals the this way, I guess. Um, that would be applicable, I guess. Yeah, the problem is how to fit all of the things where I want them. I think I need to put the signals there instead. I'm just trying to fit everything in. I'm, and I've given quite a lot of thought to maybe I should just widen them all by one uh, assembler to the left and put more stuff, um, widen, widen things out and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I don't know if that's actually going to solve the problem. Um, there are just a lot of things to make. And I kind of like it this wide and not really that much wider. Um, let's see. God, it's, it's, I feel like, oh, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, but I guess I should just do it. I should just finish what I'm doing and get those things sorted. How do I want to do it? That is the question. I guess I need to. The issue is at the moment, we do not have a line for, um, what is this called? Iron coming in this way. I wonder if we're going to need anything for like, uh, Mark two stuff. Pretty much not. Um, let's see. I guess we'll probably want to make power armor Mark two in the mall, perhaps fusion reactors. Yes. We're going to need to import some low density structures. That's something that we haven't had before. Um, which is kind of an interesting thing. We have batteries and we have, um, blue chips. That's going to be necessary. We need to make lasers and lasers are made with, okay. Batteries, electronic circuits. Yeah. We're going to have more stuff, lots more stuff and electric engine units. That's another thing that we will need to import here. Okay, there are many things to make. I'm wondering maybe I should just widen this out to add stuff like miscellaneous stuff like labs and I don't know if I can actually widen it out. There's not much that could go on the left side unless I put some of this stuff on that side. I 
I'm just kind of like looking and assessing and kind of like, okay, let's see. I could put stuff like radars, I guess. Um, but all of these are very integrated into this whole, you know, they all need iron and these all need steel. So it's kind of difficult to do that kind of a thing. Or I could just add another section to the left. That might even be better. Add a section instead of on top, add one to the left for personal, um, personal shopping, I guess you could call it. Though that would kind of not make too much sense because when you are building stuff like um, armor, and laser turrets for yourself and personal roboports, you almost never go shopping there. You like literally go there one time and you're done. And so why would you want to widen the entire bus just or, or lengthen the bus to, to travel past that every single time? No, I don't think that make, makes too much sense. Um, okay, let's figure this out in other ways. Okay, if I do this... These guys need both green and that. Okay. I think we decided that that's okay. What I'll do is I'll put the lesser one up here. Let's put this one. Let's see, copy this to here because we're going to need lots more regular signals than chain signals. Okay, so get rid of these. Go away. Go away stuff. We know you can handle it, but we're not letting you handle it. It'll be fine. Oh, inventory full. That's annoying. Okay, it's fine though. We will get rid of stuff. And I'm sure there are better ways of doing this, but it's okay. I'm not bothered. Can't be asked at the moment. Okay. There we go. All right. And I have gotten rid of all of my assemblers. Let's see. Does it work if I... Yep. Cue this? Yes, of course I can cue that. Nice. And then here's here are these. Okay, so the thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have um, our reference thing is having what? The, let's see, these guys, do they need, so these need steel, but they do not need circuits. Okay, these guys need circuits, both of them, okay. So I'm wondering if I should just put these guys as the refineries and such and then have those others up top. What I could do is be a little bit sneaky here. Thank you, autosave. And do this and then steel can go this way yeah that makes sense okay this this will work I think and if we have what did we say we needed here I think these guys don't need circuits, so I think we're going to use, well, yeah, it is all right. These guys can be the tanks, or maybe these should be the tanks, because these guys can be the chemical plants and the refinery, and this will be the tanks. Okay, and next to it will be the tank car. Now, is that too convoluted? That's the question. Should the car be down here? I don't know if it's really necessary or not necessary. Um, for, so the only thing we have left, I think, because we've done these, the only thing we have left would be the pump jacks. And the pump jacks are going to need circuits. I believe. Let's go and see what they need. I mean, we could make the next thing circuits. That's not an issue. 
It does need steel and circuits. So, <sighs> hmm. This is not ideal game. Um, steel and circuits. Well, I mean, we can just do it again um, with other things that also require steel and circuits. Because these need steel as well. Okay, and then pump jacks, we can have these up here. And I think that will work. I think that will be just fine for this area. And I think we want to look through and see, is there anything else that we want here? Let me look through the list and see what else do we want to craft? All right, we do want centrifuges. Um, that's going to be a thing. We do want, do we have electric furnaces? Yes, we do. We have the steel furnaces as well. Offshore pumps. Um, I don't think we want that, but I do think we want regular pumps. I think we definitely want that. So I'm guessing we could have, let's see. I'm wondering if I should use the same engine maker to make pumps here, for example. Let's put a centrifuge over here because we have, we don't have that yet. And then the nuclear bits, that's for sure. Last time I had the nuclear bits on the right hand side. Heat exchangers, centrifuges. We want to have nuclear reactors. Now we do not want to have solar panels. Um, so I always get this question. Why don't you have solar panels in the mall? Because you want to have an array for them. You don't want to have one assembler. Otherwise they'll eat all the materials and that's just not useful. I usually like to have, I don't know, up to 10 solar panel assemblers, depending on the size of the factory. Same thing with accumulators. We want mountains of them. So that is something that I save for late, late, late game uh, or not, not late game, but um, a different part of the factory because this is not enough material to supply solar panels. There's no way. Um, not, not when you're talking about the scale that we need to advance this to. Okay, now then, do we want bullets? I feel like that should be also its own assembly. I don't feel like we should be making those in the mall uh, because again, we need more assemblers than just one. Uh, it's also part of science. You could leech off of science. Um, do we have radars? And I'm wondering if maybe, you know what? Maybe I could make a little separate um, mini mall for, um, the things like ammo and turrets. That could be an okay thing to do, actually. It's not going to be much because I mean, it's just kind of basic, but it would be useful to have on the side, uh, especially since a lot of times I don't even play with biters. So it would be something that I would completely eliminate from the build. I mean, I could eliminate the walls as well from this build for that, like a non-military build, but I don't really want to just do all of that kind of elimination from stuff. I don't mind having a couple stuff here and there like walls and gates because maybe you want walls for other reasons like uh, building train crossings or something like that. <laughs> Safe train crossings are good. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's, that's something to think about. We also need, we need an extra line here. I know that we're going to need that. There we go. That's nice. It gives us stuff. Good, good, good. And this is going to be the stuff we see right here. Let's just copy this. Tate. There we go. Okay. And copy this is going to be batteries and blue chips and we need the other thing let's see get batteries blue chips and batteries let's do the mini malls though after we do this stuff i think it'll be more fun that way let's see batteries 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 here we go sorry i was looking to the side because apparently i don't know how long i have been recording this and i'm trying to 
figure it out. Okay, there we go. 24 minutes. That's good. Um, yeah, and then the next thing is going to be... Um, well, low density structures on one side. And I don't know what else. Let's find out. Actually, we'll put it lower down. Let's see. Get these low density there and see if, what else we might need from there. Okay, there we are. Um, I guess, did I? Oh, geez, I have no idea what I was going to put there. I think we were just looking for stuff to put here, if I am correct. Bullets, things, discharge defense. Nobody uses that still, I think. <laughs> Belt immunity equipment, I think that's, you need one of those. Uh, not that I'm that interested in using it. I like to have the belt movement speed bonus. The only time it's really annoying, the belt movement, is like if you're doing like a big corner of a bus or something, then it's annoying to move around. I'm also not going to put in one-off items like night vision. Not even needed. Um, personal roboports. That's, hmm. That's an interesting thing. <laughs> uh, huh. We could do landmines in a military mall, though. I think I would like to do them, maybe. Though they need explosives. That's, hmm. Though I could put in a belt to have, have explosives come in. What, what do explosives need? I think they're sulfuric acid. Oh, sulfur. Okay. Coal, sulfur, and water. I guess you could put in some chem plants if... I don't know. I don't know if it's worth to make explosives because I think that people might want to make things like cannon shells. And I never used those. I never used cannon shells. Um, I have used the artillery shells. Those are useful. Uh, and atomic bombs. But I never usually use explosives. Wow, rocket control units. Ten of them? Holy fuzzy cats. I didn't realize those were so expensive. Yep, but they are. They definitely are. But then once you get to that point of the game where you can mass produce atomic bombs, you don't even think about it. It's just not even, not even something you worry about. Rocket silos, we should produce those too. But not mid-game. I think this is going to be it mid-game. Um... Is there anything else? Oh, we moved something. I think it was chem plants or something here. Jeez. I've forgotten. No. Yeah, because I think it was going to go up there or something. I think this is okay. I think this is fine. It's a little bit out of order or in a weird order. But I think overall it should be okay. Or I could do, I'm trying to like think of ways I can just finagle stuff together, but I don't actually think it matters. This is just a matter of a few assemblers, which should be easily within reach. The problem with the mall is the first few assemblers. Like if you're using nanobots or something, it's going to place if you, well, you should skillfully and carefully walk along the bottom of the mall when the nanobots place things so you don't get them out of the range. Like you should not start walking from here and place um, assemblers, precious assemblers, when you don't have enough of them. So if you go from the bottom, you should get everything that you want. Of course, you can manually place the assemblers as well. Um, and everything should be, I think it's in a pretty good order. The lamps are up here, which is not ideal. But those are, I think it's just fine. It's not really a bothersome thing at all. Yeah, I think, I think I'm fairly happy with things at the moment. It is a puzzle to get this sorted out, but I think it's, I think it's just fine at the moment. Okay. So let's go ahead and put in our, um, our things, our, um, belts and stuff and things and chests and just get them going. So to copy this. Oh, whoops. I'm going to set it to a limit of one. 
no, two. Copy the limit of two. Okay, and then just put it where I think I need this, but the reality is that we'll just set the limits for each of them. Okay, this needs a limit of one. This one needs a limit of one. This one can have two. This one, let's make, I don't know, four stacks. And this one, two stacks should be enough. This one, two stacks. Okay, that looks great. That sounds fine. Put this one here. Okay, good. Now then, we're going to get... Take that off. Um, this needs this and that. This, that. Locomotives. Ah, yes, and paste in the box for this. Oh, God, that's what I was going to do. Shoot. <laughs> I swear. I think my brain just doesn't work in general. Um, yeah. I was going to put in, that's right. Ah, I got so far off on the tangent, I forgot. So this one was actually going to be pumps. I forgot about this. Now, I have changed my mind on pumps recently. Um, and the reason for that is I, I thought, ah, you know, you just make them from your inventory. It's fine. Um, and yes, you can. But the problem is when you come up with trying to do something like, oh my gosh, you know, this thing by this oil tank over here doesn't work. Let me change it from afar. I'm on the other side of the map. You do your deconstruction and then it's like, oh dear, I don't have any pumps anywhere. Um, so yeah, so that's why I want to make pumps in the mall. Take that there. Okay. And this will go there. They need engines. We need pipes here. Good. And steel. This is good, 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 good. And we will get this power pole put there. Okay, now then. That should be fine. And this will produce things very slowly indeed. Very, very slowly. But uh, it should be okay. Now then, does this need anything? This guy needs circuits. So we'll add those there. Looks like we have some stuff not all the stuff though clearly does this need gears no okay this needs stuff pipes this does not need gears no okay this needs what <laughs> no oh no it needs iron Jeez. okay it's fine it's fine it's fine it'll be fine um, this is, this is, this, this is the challenge here. This is the challenge not to go insane. That's what this is. This is an insane challenge to not go insane or to not do the challenge. Whoa, no, hold on. <clears throat> it's fine. <laughs> Jeez. Um. I guess that will work there. I think... Yeah, we're just going to use a long-handed here for this. I forgot that that needed iron plates. I'm kind of wondering now, maybe I should go back to the old design of things. But I really did want the railroad tracks. I always felt like the railroad tracks were way too far up. So now they're not. We, we have decided they're not too far and they're fine. This can go with two here. I think that would be an okay thing to hurry up the production of this stuff. I... Though I don't know if we need it because it's 10 bricks. Nah, we don't need it. Uh, and there's more than enough time to get them in there with the long, long craft time of refineries. Okay. Now then. We have our refineries there. We have these things there. I guess we can put the chemical plant here. And yep, that'll be okay. This positioning is not ideal. Definitely not. Just kind of think of like, how can I Tetris these things in and make it better? But I think it's okay. Um, I think it's okay. 
It's, if, if I want to fiddle around later, I might do so. I don't know. We'll see. But I really, at the moment, I'm actually having to do this series because I need to have um, a mall to put into the, um, the series that I'm currently doing, which is the one involving lots of biters and 0 0.17 and stuff. Yes, there is stuff involved, much stuff. So I can't actually progress there until I have a mall, which is not ideal. Okay, so here we go. Um, do they need anything else? They do need stuff from here. And we do need a box. There we go. Those can be put into place with some power poles. Nice. These we want to have at least, I don't know, a bunch. And then these again, four stacks of these and five pump jacks. I don't know, a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people have big oil patches or not. I tend to, and they used to be quite a bit bigger, I believe, but I don't really remember uh, what they're like in 0 0.17. In fact, I have not actually got to one, but from the map, they looked pretty decent sized, but we are getting production here, which means it works. This is great. I'm very tempted to call this a blueprint and just say, aha, this is what we're going to use. Um, so I think that that is what I might actually do and just make this into a blueprint. And then in the next episode, we can start the conversion into a, um, a circuit based circuit limited mall. Um, and there's a very fun trick that I probably will do because it's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, if, if you are, well, this I guess this can be, no, I can leave that. People can, this, this can be part of the next design of stuff. But what I want to do is I want to move up all of these things. Um, so that they are right next to where they should be. So let's get rid of this. And then we'll copy all of this, uh, including the undergroundies there. Yes, there we go. That one will go away. And this way we will get to paste this stuff in. And that will be part of our mall blueprint. So we're going to ignore those combinators, just use the upper ones. So let's go ahead and do this. Man, I'm t I, at this point, so what I'm going to do is at this point, we need to check every chest and see, do we have limits? That is kind of important. Why is this not producing anything? Ah, that's important. That's really important. We didn't have, this was the wrong way. I wonder how that happened. That's really quite strange. Must have happened midway. So, okay. Right, 50 of these, we've got 10 there. Oh, that's a mistake actually. Why do we have beacons? I guess we have beacons because of the, probably because of the wire, I'm guessing. That's why we have beacons. Okay. It is fine. 50. This is not producing either. What's going on with this? Ah, gears. Okay. That's um, not ideal, but let's put, put in the relevant things. Yes, it does pay to actually go and check all this stuff out as we have seen. I thought, ah, I'll just do it when I'm offline or off camera. It'll be fine. This is good. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking for anything that looks kind of wonky. Um, and before you ask, yes, I am going to convert these guys to buffer chests. Um, and then we'll use those for recycling later on. Okay, we have these guys. We have all the stuff. Yes, we do. Just physically checking every single box. Oh, 
Aha, this has... Okay, it's just very slow. Seven. Okay. Wow, that is so slow. 15 seconds at half speed, so like 30 seconds each. They only have made... That can't be right. There's no way that makes any sense. Well, I guess it does keep feeding in. So I'm not sure. Okay, it'll be fine. We got the pipes lingering here. We have railroad tracks, stations, trains, train bits. These are engines, which have not been limited. That's kind of important. Cars, pumps, which need to be one tile, one square, not two. This is good. This is very good. Checking all the things because we might miss stuff and we have missed stuff. Okay, so pump checks are in groups of 20. I'm thinking maybe three stacks is enough for that. Maybe even two. Let's do two stacks. I think that most people will not have a patch over 40 um, oil spots in the same zone. All right, I think that we can probably call this goods. Okay, so what I want to do is this is going to be the early game mall. We're going to grab this like this. And we're going to call this KOS early game. Oh dear. KOS early game mall. Or did oh, I forgot the way I did this? If, if it was mall early game KOS or how that worked. And here I usually like to call it mall. But you don't have to. You can say M A L and you could do like yellow belts. Just telling you mal. Oh dear, that's even worse. <laughs> um, or it could just be M. M with this yellow belts. Um, and then maybe for the next version, we'll do yellow belts with circuits. Uh, and then we'll do maybe a red belted version and stuff. Though I don't think that the later, um, later game versions are going to be at all important because we now have the upgrade planner. Wait, did it save the title? Did I? No, of course not. Of course it did because I forgot to save it. This, I don't like the pencil icon. It, it doesn't. I don't know. It's, for me, this isn't conveying that it hasn't been saved. Uh, I keep on making that mistake. I know that the devs wanted to address that, um, and I'm just not... I guess it is different. I mean, it is like a white thing rather than than brown or gray. Gray, brown, gray. Whatever color it is. Um, save. If it was a disc icon, maybe... See, the thing is, it doesn't change because it's edit. I wonder if maybe I should make that suggestion that it should be like a little save disk icon. Maybe that would help. I don't know. Either that or I just need to be less derpy. That that could be too. Um, but it's okay. Save blueprint. Okay, so we have this mall now. And then, of course, what we want to do is I'm going to call, I'm going to change this one to old underscore malls. And I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to make a new blueprint book, put it down. There it goes. And we're going to call this malls. Usually I just rely on myself to, um, press enter. Okay. So here we have the early game mall. We'll shove that in here. Yay. Okay. So we have one part done. This is great. We, uh, we have progressed. And in the next episode, we'll probably get to adding the nuclear stuff as well as the personal armor stuff, um, because that's an important step that does not need to be added early game. All of this stuff, everything that we have here is early to mid game. There is nothing here that is very late game except for beacons. I guess beacons could be late game and electric furnaces. Never use those two until late, late game, but they conveniently fit uh, in these spots. So I think it's okay to have them, but everything else I think is going to be late, but I want to also do the military stuff. We can get the, 
the um the biters huh huh get the bots to clear all this stuff out oh and somebody says oh but you don't need to wait for all the bots i got several comments on this by the way um but it's okay because aren't they cool like watching the patterns i think they're awesome and it also gives me a break to like stretch my hand a bit, like think about stuff, watch the pretty patterns, and hopefully come back to the task with a clearer mind. Anyway, that's it for this episode. We will keep on working on this project as we go along. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.